Christine asked, I'd like to know how you maintain your energy and enthusiasm for your causes. And if autistic burnout ever puts actions on hold for long periods of time. Ooh, <laughs> I think I should like tattoo autistic burnout on my forehead right now because like the last few years um, <laughs> have been rough. So it's like the, the way that I work and this might be, you know, there, there may be other people who can relate to this. I don't know. I just don't, because I don't know. I don't want to assume. Um, but so in addition to being autistic, I also have ADHD. So I've got my hyper focus and my perseveration and all this kind of stuff. So when I'm in, I'm all in. Like, you know, I love Kassiana Sasumasu says, we, you know, autistics, we go big or we go home. There's no in between. And that's, like, that's, you know, how I operate. So if I have something I love about, I, it, it wasn't ever confusing to me when people like Greta Thunberg, I'm like, why, why can't she go to school? Of course she can't go to school. You know what I mean? Like she's thinking about the planet. Like, you know, when something's important, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, let me worry about, you know, like how many people liked this snap, you know what I mean? Or whatever. So it's like, so I think about, um, for me, when I first, you know, became involved in, you know, in, you know, in autism, uh, you know, activism, I was, I lived and breathed it. I was all over social media. I was all involved with this, reading this, doing this, doing this, doing this, doing that, doing a lot of things. Um, and I'm grateful that some aspects of who we are, the way that we can hyper-focus or the way we can spend time or do things allows you to, you know, to to sometimes be able to accomplish a great deal in a lot in a short period of time, because then there's those periods of inertia <laughs> where you can't do anything. And when life happens, um, you know, it 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 takes a toll too. And so for me you know, um, there have been a lot of, you know, mental health struggles in the last few years and some things going on with my family that have really, um, you know, had caused me to scale back. And I felt at times very guilty. I'm like, dang, I'm just like, sorry, you know, just like, just, just, you know, like a let down, not doing my part, not pulling my weight, you know, and it's been very difficult. And then I just, but I had to realize, you know what, I, I need to stay sane. I need to stay alive. I need to stay here. So if it means that, um, you know, that it, I'm contributing less or involved less, then so be it. Let me just do what I can, you know, and that, and that has to be good enough. Um, and so I've, you know, for me, like one thing that I, I'm doing a lot less of is, which is sad, like social media, I used to really, really, really enjoy. Um, it was for activism as well as for personal use. And so now like certain, some experiences for me, I'm off it a lot. I'm, I'm you know, a lot less active, the only one I use when you know, I'm in the mood is Twitter, but the other, I, you know, I'm not really using the other forms. There's nothing wrong with them. For me personally, I needed to scale back. It's um, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yes. And so, and then I had to realize that, um, and there were certain things that I stepped away from, not because those things are, are unimportant, but because, you know, so it's like, I, I'm kind of a generalist. I'm involved in a, in a whole lot of things and I'm passionate. And I like a whole lot of things where some people are more special, specialized. And so in some areas, you know, I would, you know, defer, you know, re refer, you know, people to someone else or suggest that they look into this, do that, because that was, I feel like there was someone else had a better handle on things. And, um, or if someone has already written something or said something that I think is helpful or good, then I'll share their, you know, why reinvent the wheel, you know, kind of share the wealth, share the, you know, the information about our community. But um, autistic burnout has been, in so many ways, like, you know, with work, with my family, um, you know, with my health in a lot of ways, it's really been, it's been very debilitating. Like I'm just, the only reason I think I still have my job is because when I'm productive, I'm super productive. Like I'll get in a phase where I'll do a week's months worth of work. That's not even due yet. Like extra stuff, have it already. And then when it's time to do it, it's already done fortunately for me or my children, I'll get in these phases where I'll, you know, pack up all their non-perishable items of their lunches for like two months and have them stacked up on the shelf. So that way, the days that I can't get out of bed, <laughs> can't do anything. Yeah. Or the days that I iron all their clothes and hang up the, you know, now the, now the days that I, I can't do that, those things are prepared. And then I think I, I do have support. You know, my spouse is very supportive of me. And then the way we, we structure our home, I don't cook because a, I'm not that good at it. Like when I make something, I think it's good, but I only make select things. But I don't cook on a regular basis. That's just not something I do. So he does the cooking. Like we we've dealt, we kind of separated things in the house in a certain way. There are certain things that to me just take too many spoons, and there are things that I just don't do um, that I, I just leave alone so I can reserve energy for other things. But 
Um, I definitely, um, you know, empathize with anyone who is dealing with autistic burnout, you know, and especially if it's, you know, if it's coinciding with like, you know, a period of trauma or depression, you know, like, a, you know, because I, I understand, I, you know, and, you know, I am using, you know, I, I am a believer. I know it, for us, sometimes therapy is not the greatest because there's a lot of people who don't understand the way we work or communicate or think and can actually create more harm than good. But when you can find someone who, you know, you do connect with, who does understand who is beneficial, um, I think that can be a helpful tool. I am faithfully going to my therapist and have been for maybe like the last year. And that's something that throughout my life I haven't consistently done, you know, at all. So it's been something that's been helpful for me, writing, things that I enjoy. Um, I've put on a lot of pandemic weight <laughs> and I would have cared about that, but now I don't. Just had to buy some bigger clothes. It's all good. I'll figure it out later. You know, some some things, you know, there's some minor things that I've decided not to major in right now, you know, and just kind of focus on other things and um, just go day by day. It's important to, to, to give yourself grace because mm -hmm. we want to give everybody else grace, but we forget to do that for ourselves. Yes, I think it's an area where we, a lot of us struggle. And I think then, in general, yeah, parents, like, people. What you yeah. were talking about is, 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 you know, delegating, but kind of build you a tree almost of mm -hmm. like, this person is, this, this, this is a great resource for this. This is a great resource for that. I make, I'm a list maker. So I yes. make a list of, of all of the resources for this mm -hmm. and that. So I can just kind of pick one and, and, and put it up or, you know, exactly. oh, this person needs this, put it up here. We have a, we have a mm -hmm. another group and I have a parking lot that has different resources listed by different sections. And it's mm -hmm. so it's like, no, you don't I have love to that because we can't do, we can't be all things to all people or even mm -hmm. to ourselves. And so I, and I love when you, you know, when you do that, because it's like it, initially, so I remember the first time, um, so obviously if I have like a time or schedule conflict or if there's like a, you know, something that's, you know, a philosophy that I don't agree with or believe in, I will turn, you know, something down. But I remember there was something where I didn't have a time or, or you know, a time conflict. I didn't have an issue with what they were doing um, or with the organization or their, their mission. Um, you know, the money looked really nice. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of mouths to feed. Um, and so, but I just remember feeling like this would be a better task you know, and it's something that I, if, if, you know, I had enough time to learn research and put something together. Sure. I'm a nerd. I like that stuff. But there was something that like, there were a couple of people who came to mind that could just do it automatically. Like they were given it to do the next day. They could just do it. They had lived experience. They had, you know, a lot of expertise and I felt like it was just better. So I remember being worried because it's like, you know, I, I don't know if it's a sense of imposter syndrome or what, but you know, when you turn, you know, you people down, what are, what are they going to think? And so I, but I just felt like, you know what, I just told them the truth. I feel that such and such and such and such would do a better job. I strongly recommend that you reach out to them. Here's their information, et cetera, et cetera. I've already spoken with them and they said it was okay to share. If they are unavailable or if you need any support or want me involved in some kind of way peripherally, I'd be happy to support and, um, you know, so I did that a couple, you know, that was the first time I did it, I was frightened, but it went really well. They thanked me. They, they went with it. And most of the time it goes well. I have had a few times where people kind of got mad, you know, like, um, you know, like I came to you, I want you. I'm thinking, well, that's great, but I don't know anything about this. You know, right. like oh, I do, but such and such does spend, you know, they're really talented. What they do. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm like, there's certain things I can talk about and I'll learn, like I tell people, I'm willing to learn something, but if it's not something that I, the reason why I think I, I've been fortunate and, um, and, and I am definitely privileged in that, you know, I know there's so many issues, you know, with employment in our community and I, you know, have been fortunate because I typically work in whatever is my passion or special interest. You know, I know people hate that word special interest, but, um, you know, whatever, because like, I'm good, going to be good at that. So like, I don't, you know, when I apply for a job or, an, or something, I, I like the thing I'm interested in because if I'm not, I'm going to be horrible. I can't fake the funk. I can't go and be a cashier because I know some people can because they like math or they like the people or whatever, whatever, or they like the money. They like, you know, the responsibility. I would, I can't do it if I don't like it. And it's, I will do a horrible job. I will suck. So it's no reason for me to even bother to do it. Yeah. So I've had the privilege of being able to find things that I've, you know, enjoyed and been passionate about. So that, 
you know, is half the battle for me that even if I'm weird or quirky or whatever, I get things done because this is something that means something to me. And so those things have been, I've been fortunate in that it's been, you know, I've been able to do that. You know, that's not something that everyone can do, um, which is even more reason why I think that we need to share, you know, like, you know, be sure to be referring, um, you know, and making people aware of, of other people, you know, like, I love your book list. I have actually linked to it on my, my website. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so like when Sweet. people have things, yeah, like, you know, there's, there's when I see things on someone's site, you know, like, you know, Alex or Tara or Lydia or whomever, and it's good, why I, I'm going to link to that thing or, or this came from such and such, because I feel like it's just important to acknowledge the, the, the brilliance that's in our community. And I will say that that, that list was not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It was the entire book club for yeah, the so entire year and a half. So. It's, it's so not only I have it on my website, I did a training for a university the other day and um, they have um, a, a, a resource library for the families that they serve in their community. And I suggested that list I, to them um, and asked that they you know consider getting a number of those uh, those authors. It, it was a list. They, they had seen some lists here and there, but not that comprehensive. So mm -hmm. people are reading it. It's helping people. So you all should, you know, definitely, you know, I think take, you know, a little credit, pat yourself on the back yeah, or whatever. You know, yeah. And it's always changing. They're always making suggestions on how to rearrange it. And so mm -hmm. it's, it is, it is always growing. So it's great. And I appreciate mm -hmm. everybody for helping with that.